Hey dolls! So happy to finally make this video because it has been such a journey with my hair lately. Um, but this is my real hair. This is not a wig. This is 100% legit. Um, I have been working on going from my black hair that I used to dye all of the time uh, to this pinky coral type thing. I don't know. This isn't exactly what I was going for. I wanted to go for more of a pastel pink, but I decided to do it a little bit darker so that it would fade out, hopefully really nicely. So basically, I'm going to run you guys through how I did everything. I did vlog most of everything as far as like the individual days go and everything like that. So what I did is I went to a local drugstore and I got this L'Oreal kind of box bleach and I did that three times. So my roots are really bad so I figured now is the time to do this. Um, but so here is, I'll go ahead and set you guys down. Here is before. Here's my hair. Dark brown, black. Let's see. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes since I have had this on. And there is the progress. This side over here seems to be lightening like a lot quicker, which is weird because we did this side first. Um, but it says leave it on for another 20 to 30 minutes. So I set it for 20 so I could do like a little check. But considering how dark this piece right here still is, I think I'm going to leave it on for a little bit longer. The back is really warm. And that's why I wear the bag on my head because it will help produce heat and help the product to work inside. All right, so I just rinsed and partially blow dried my hair. And you can see we've got some red tinge going on. The sun is making it look a lot more red than it is, so no worries. Um, let me go back more in this lighting so you can see more of like the true color. Um, see, it's way like less red in this lighting. I just threw my towel on. Um, but you can see it's definitely splotchy. There are a lot of like black chunks still in there. So as you can tell, this is definitely going to be a process. All right, guys. So I just went and bought. It has been almost a week since my last... Um, bleach dye type session so I got another box actually I got two boxes for this time around so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and um, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit all right guys so here we are after drying you can tell that I am on the verge of that weird crazy orange phase um, I call this my tiger hair. I actually had tiger hair when I was in high school because I dyed my hair dark with like temporary dye from Dollar Tree. Don't ever do it. That stuff is not temporary. It will not come out. So I ended up having to bleach and my hair pretty much looked like this when I was in high school. Okay, uh, I guess I will catch up with you guys in about a week or so when I am ready to do the third treatment. Okay, so it has been six days uh, since I last did my hair. It is such a hot, tigery, striped mess. Um, but we're gonna do the third bleaching treatment. So I'm just gonna be back in a little bit. <laughs> okay guys, we're getting closer and closer. You can see my roots have no problems at all whatsoever lightening it up lightening up excuse me the problems I'm having the areas I'm having problems with are this patch right here and this like lower patch right here this side seems to be doing the best throughout the whole thing you can tell it's actually still pretty patchy which is crazy because I'm like so diligent with it like this side especially I made sure and coated this darker area and you can see that it's just picky and does not want to lift. Like, it is super splotchy. Um, but we're getting there. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I don't know what 
I should do next. I guess we'll see. I will catch up with you guys in about a week with uh, my next plan of attack. Every time I did it, I felt like I saw results, but it was just going to take way too many times or way too many treatments of that to get to the, you know, bleach blonde that I needed to get to do my hair pink. Rather than doing that like 10 times, I did it three times and my hair wasn't damaged at all. That product didn't hurt my hair at all whatsoever. But then I decided that it was time to probably bring out the big guns because the drugstore bleach wasn't really doing it for me. I needed the heavy duty stuff, so I got a 30 volume developer and the lightning powder from Sally's, and I mixed uh, equal parts scoops of the powder into equal parts of ounces of the developer. And so I did two like hard bleach treatments. I say a hard bleach because it's like the actual bleach from Sally's rather than just like a drugstore one or something like that. All right guys, so ignore my uh, no makeup phase. It's kind of a lazy day today, but uh, we are going to attempt actual bleach this time. Not actual, actual, like bleach bleach. Uh, that would be horrific, but um, the Sally's bleach. So I will go ahead and work on doing that and I will be back to show you guys the end results. Ah! Okay, so this is more what I'm talking about here. Like, this is much lighter. This is the process I was expecting to go through. I think I'm gonna let this just kind of relax overnight. I'll kind of think on it a little bit because obviously if I do it pink right now, it's gonna be more of a peachy pink and less of a true pastel pink. Um, so... I don't know, I don't hate the peachy pink color or style, but my goal is pastel pink. So, I don't know, I'm asking a few of my friends uh, what they think I should do, if I should bleach again, if I should like wait a week and then bleach again, and then finally do the pink, or if I should just give up and do the pink now. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting to hear back from them to see what they say. So, I may see you guys again, and I may not, so. I guess bye for now. <laughs> So I did that twice and in between both of those, uh, the first bleaching, the official bleaching, uh, made my hair super orange. There was a lot of orange tone to it. So I actually did a toner and how I did the toner was I just applied purple shampoo to my dry hair and I just left it in my hair for an hour and then I went in the shower and rinsed it out and then uh, I did it again a second time. Uh, again on my dry hair, left it on for an hour and that took out a lot of the brassiness and weird orange tones. Okay guys, so hoping that I can get rid of some of this uh, red tone or this brassiness. Um, I recently got this sheer blonde purple shampoo from John Frieda. I don't know why my camera is not focusing. I have a towel on right now, so no worries. But um, I went ahead and kept my hair dry and saturated all of my hair in this purple shampoo. And I'm going to leave it sit for about 40 minutes or so. And I'm going to see if this will somewhat tone. Um, and then hopefully it'll take out some of the brassiness. So we'll see. Okay, so I did the uh, purple shampoo. And I left it sitting on my dry hair for about an hour. And I'd say it helped. Uh, the roots, it definitely brightened up the roots. They look more uh, white with a very light purple tint to them. And I feel like a lot of the orange did pick up. There are still some spots like right here and stuff. But I think I'm going to try doing that a couple more times because the shampoo isn't damaging or anything like that. But when I did the second official bleaching, it still had a bit of an orange tint to it, which you can see that the pink isn't a true pink. It's more of like pink with hints of orange and coral, uh, which is totally fine. I have no problem with it. I love how it turned out. But after the second bleach, I should have waited longer between bleaching 
sessions or treatments because the three that I did from the drugstore bleach I waited a week in between each one so I did one once I waited a week did the second one waited a week did the third one waited a week and then did the hard bleach and then I waited a week and did a second round of the hard bleach uh, I did have a little bit of breakage so I would advise anyone bleaching their hair uh, definitely do it like two or three weeks later if you're using the hard bleach because I found that the drugstore bleach was wasn't near as harsh as the bleach that you could get from Sally's or like the hardcore bleach that they use in salons so I went ahead and just stepped it up and just did the bleach the official bleach if you guys have been around my channel for a long time or you have seen me like reacting to my old videos and things like that uh, I did have like bleach blonde hair for a long time like I kept up with that just by bleaching my hair like I just did that uh, for quite a few years I am naturally like a dirty blonde but I bleached my hair for a long time and then I decided to go dark and that's when I started it, started to dye it browns and then I ended up dyeing it black at one point and I had been putting box dye on it. I would use the Revlon Color Silk. Um, I used that box dye when I did the browns and the blacks and things like that and I love the conditioner that comes with that box dye. It smells so good and it leaves my hair so silky soft. It's so nice. Um, but that's what I would do when I did my dark hair and so trying to get the color out of my dark hair my first instinct was to use a color remover well or a, like a color extractor or whatever like, similar to color oops if you guys haven't heard from color oops basically what it does is it removes any dye that's in your hair and you're left with in theory your natural color and so I got a knockoff color oops quite a while ago because I wanted to start going lighter and it was literally like almost a year ago that I tried this like knockoff color oops because I didn't have actual color oops when I was looking for it and I tried it and it smelled like rotten eggs I could not get the smell out of my hair for like two or three weeks and it was disgusting and I never want to do that again ever like it was horrible I just decided not to do the color remover or the color oops this time around I just wanted to try something else, try a new product, see if it worked, and like I said, the only time that I actually had damage was the second official bleaching when I should have waited like a couple weeks longer, but it wasn't too much breakage. My hair kind of just felt a little like stringy a little bit. It wasn't really excessive or like my hair falling out in clumps or anything like that. It was just, it felt kind of, you know, brittle, and so I did a coconut oil mask that night saturated my hair in coconut oil and then I rinsed out in the shower the next morning and then um, I used Arctic Fox dye to do the dye so I used the virgin pink shade and then I also got the Arctic Mist diluter and I used the whole entire like eight ounce bottle or whatever it is of the diluter it's basically like a purple tinted conditioner kind of and so I put all of that into uh, a little container my little mixing container for hair dye and then I literally just put in maybe like a tablespoon of the virgin pink so I still have almost a full bottle of the virgin pink I didn't use that much of it at all but I got maybe done with about this side of my hair and halfway down this one and I ran out of like the mix dye so what I did is I got my conditioner that I got from Dollar Tree that is sulfate free and paraben free because obviously when you have color treated hair like this you want to stay away from the sulfates and parabens and things like that in your hair products so I got that and hoped that it would work and hoped that it would take because with the Arctic Fox conditioner diluter stuff it is kind of purple tinted like it has a little bit of a purple tinge to it so when I pull up my bangs you guys can see this is a lot more purple and bright whereas this side is like that but it's not as strong I don't know this side you could tell that I used a different conditioner with just slightly it didn't make like a huge difference and I was really impressed with that because 90 percent probably 95 percent of the hair dye is just conditioner that you 
dilute the dye down with. This is going to be awesome because the upkeep on this is going to be very, very simple because my roots come in blonde as it is. I don't have to worry about bleaching them excessively or anything like that. And I can literally just use the Dollar Tree conditioner now that I know that it works really well. This side was the Arctic Fox and this side was Dollar Tree. So save your money and get like a sulfate and paraben free white based conditioner like it has to be a white conditioner um if you use one that's clear or anything like that it's it's not gonna work properly but uh yeah you can tell like my ends were a lot more orange tinted like i didn't tone again because i just wanted to get it over with like i'm one of those people where like i don't want to break my hair off and i want to like prolong the process the entire process because i don't want to damage my hair but at the same time, the Arctic Fox hair dye, like I said, you use like 95% conditioner. So if anything, my damaged hair from the second bleaching, putting it up and dyeing it with the 95% conditioner and all of that for like 45 minutes to an hour, however long the processing time is for your hair, that would help as kind of like a deep conditioning mask. And after I did the actual dye itself, it my hair feels a lot healthier. And just by doing that in itself, it feels stronger and way, way, way better than it did after the second bleach. Little review, little mini review on Arctic Fox hair dye. Uh, it's amazing. I love it so much. It smells like grapes. Like it smells, my hair still smells like grapes. I did my pink hair yesterday, uh, by the time you watch this it'll probably be like a day or so later, but it smells like grapes, it smells so nice, I love it, it's just so like soft and clean and I really love it. The only advice that I can give, and my friend actually gave me this little tip, uh, when you are doing your hair like any crazy color, you can see how mine has like different streaks of orange and pink and things like that. I was so worried about it being splotchy, but the cool thing about this is it's not like splotchy. It's not like pink here, orange here, pink here, orange here. No, it's like each strand is all one color and it's so cool, but I don't know what it is exactly. I made sure every single hair was saturated and I even did the trick where like you take your fingers and you just like roll it around like this and you just very gently, like as if you're starting a campfire is how my friend described it. Um, you just very gently just make sure it's through all of the hairs and you just do this a few times throughout your whole entire head after you've applied all of the product just to make sure it's really in there and I'll go ahead and get up here so you guys can see the different tones and textures. But as you can see, my roots were like a bleach white blonde. They ended up bleaching out really well. So this is more of the true color of the actual hair dye itself that you'd get. But because I still had kind of a red orangey tint to my ends, this is kind of what I got. So you guys can kind of see like the comparison difference in the color. I personally don't hate it. I think it's fun to like go from one color and it kind of like gradiates itself out like a little ombre type thing. And I love how all of the different colors give it dimension. I was honestly going for one solid color, but I knew that's not what I was gonna get because my ends were still kind of an orangey tint. So I knew that I was gonna be left with kind of like pink to like orangey ombre. And I don't know, I'm really happy with it. It's fun, it's different. I've never had colored hair before in my life on my head. I mean, I've worn wigs and you guys have seen me play with hairsprays and you know gels and stuff like that uh, over the years, like for Halloween, but I've never had actual pink hair on my head. And so this is really fun. Like I said, it's gonna be pretty affordable to maintain for me personally, because I still have that whole almost eight ounce bottle of that Arctic Fox pink color. And you can buy that at Hot Topic now. And I don't know, you guys, what do you think? Is it fun? Do you guys like it? I was scared to do too pastel in the beginning because I was afraid I was going to like blend into my background and my whole channel was going to be just like an explosion of pink as if it's not already, but it was going to be like pink on pink on pink on pink on pink. But I don't know. It's really fun. I like how it has like the little peekaboo of purple. So if I wear my hair up like this, it's kind of like different colors. I don't know. It looks kind of messy, but at the same time, it's really fun and different and 
I'm gonna rock it for a little bit and I'll probably still wear my wigs here and there so if you see me wearing those don't get like oh you hate your hair now because you're wearing wigs no that's not the case at all I just love wigs and changing up my hair all the time and uh, this is fun this is something exciting to do for summer and it's different and I've always wanted pink hair and I told myself I will have pink hair eventually before I die and I have accomplished that and I'm so excited. <laughs> but the best advice that I can give to anyone and everyone who is wanting to dye their hair, whether it be just going from dark to blonde or blonde to dark or crazy colors, whatever the case may be, do a ton of research. Don't take just my advice because every hair type and color and texture is different and it's going to act differently to different products. You are your own individual person and your body and your hair may react to a product differently than someone else had experienced. So always, always, always do a ton of research and just gather up like a whole armload of research before you even think about doing something like this because you want to take the proper precautions and you want to do the proper procedure so that your hair doesn't get all brittle and damaged and fall out in excessive amounts and like that's one thing I was worried about I was like I just don't want my hair to fall out but then I was like committed because I have wigs it's okay if my hair falls out it's all good I can still wear wigs and stuff so yeah let me know what you guys think of it in the comments section below and also let me know if you've ever had your hair a crazy color and what color was it and what hair dye did you use and how did it work out for you. Let me know all your little hair dye tips, tricks, reviews, everything about coloring your hair fun crazy colors. Let me know in the comment section below so I can retain even more knowledge and information about it um, from reading your guys' experiences. And with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all in the next one. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye! Now I gotta go take a hundred pictures for Instagram. Pew!